It's an exciting time to be purchasing an optometry practice, and if you find yourself on that path to practice ownership, it is imperative that you perform due diligence when going across the journey. And in this brief video, we're gonna unpack what those three key areas of due diligence are and what you can do to be sure you are making an informed decision. So the first one is gonna be financial due diligence. And this is all about understanding the inner workings of the practice, the practice economics, and the financial viability of the venture. And there's a few key elements of this. First is gonna be reviewing the financial documents. So you're gonna to wanna to be sure you get your hands on that the profit and loss statements, the balance sheets, tax returns of the seller. Again, you want to have a good understanding of the, uh, the financial history of the practice. From there, you'll want to then dissect those financials to really understand and assess that financial viability. Now, it is imperative here for doctors that are purchasing practices, you also include uh, some feasibility analysis in there, right? Recognizing that you are going to have to secure some sort of financing probably to, to, to purchase the practice. So it's imperative that that is also incorporated into your assessment of financial viability. From there, get into calculating EBITDA. Now, this is a very complicated topic in and of itself. We've got some great resources there at acrinos.com. Go ahead and um, learn up on it because it's really a fascinating topic all around EBITDA and those various earnings basis measures. From there, definitely still trucking through financial due diligence. Get a good grasp of exactly what those revenue channels are. You know, now more than ever with so many dynamics, uh, uh, comings and goings in modern optometry and the role of managed care, it is imperative you have a really good grasp of what the revenue channels are of that practice you're looking to purchase. So those are just a few areas that comprise financial due diligence. From there, then it's imperative that you jump into legal due diligence. And this is all about understanding truly what is the legal standing of that practice, both locally, state, and federally. So there's a few key elements of here. Most notably is going to be the bill of sale. Now, y'all, this is a very, very complex topic in and of itself. Again, we've got some great resources back at acrinos.com. You're going to want to do your homework here to understand all the ins and outs of that legal due diligence because that bill of sale, it's imperative that it's going to be written in a proper way that's going to protect all parties and really uh, carefully articulate exactly what is included in the transaction. From there, when we're talking legal due diligence, Review those legal documents. Um, it is a process. You're going to definitely want to build a team around you to support you in this process of understanding the inner workings of the legal status of that practice. Certainly, real estate agreements and leases, again, very complex topic, but it's imperative that all of this is understood as you're going into purchasing that optometry practice, particularly if there are years remaining on that lease. And last but not least, in this front of legal due diligence is intellectual property. You know, we live in a fascinating times these days with ways for practices and brands to really grow and do some amazing things. It's really important you understand, once again, everything's being transferred in that bill of sale uh, and any uh, dealings with uh, intellectual property. So we've touched on financial due diligence, we've touched on legal due diligence, and now the third area of due diligence you're going to perform in purchasing that optometry practice is practice management due diligence. And this is a lot of fun, right? Because this is where you really can get an opportunity to understand the inner workings, the day-to-day -day of the practice and better understanding the patients and the community and that scope of care that you'll have an opportunity to provide. So here are a few key things. Look, analyze the business. I mean, really like dig into practice management, uh, analytics, obviously everything in a HIPAA compliant manner, but there are ways you can go in and pull some production reports to get a good understanding of the, the inner workings, the economics of that practice, the day-to-day -day of the practice. So here, practice management, due diligence, analyze the business, also assess operations. And this is really important, particularly considering how much dynamic change is occurring across the industry and this, this vast array of scope of care that is out there, it's really important to understand all of the inner workings of the operations of the practice and particularly also the role of the team there. Now, we've got some great resources on this front also at crinos.com, so be sure to, to check those out. And lastly, we're talking practice management due diligence. Look, inspect equipment in inventory, and particularly for all of you young, up-and-coming, modern ODs that want to practice full scope, it's really important you have a good understanding of the, the equipment and, uh, and the, 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 the opportunity to grow the practice with what's there prior to perhaps having to invest in new equipment and infrastructure. So 
Look, we hope you found this helpful. If you're on that path to purchasing the practice, once again, be sure you're performing that due diligence across your financial due diligence, legal due diligence, and practice management due diligence. If you're looking for more great resources like this, uh, subscribe to the Acrinos YouTube channel. Follow Acrinos across the socials and find everything you need for various uh, phases of the practice life cycle as both an emerging practice owner in the cold start corner and established practice owners looking to grow practices with our resources in Acrinos Access. And last but not least, if you've got a topic, a question, uh, message us right there through our website, acrinos.com. Anything you'd like us to address here on Ask Acrinos.